African Union Communications Early Warning and Intelligence, commonly known as AUC3I, is an intelligence and security organization responsible for providing signals intelligence and information assurance to AU citizens, AU leadership, and AU armed forces. I'm Colonel A.C. Ogentoy, an infantry officer. I am responsible for leading infantry soldiers at all levels of command and combined armed forces during missions on the ground. This is today's briefing. On the progress of the Special Military Operation on the 22nd of April, 2024. The armed forces of the Russian Federation continue the Special Military Operation. The U Group of Forces units have fully liberated Novomikolovka, Donetsk People's Republic, as a result of the successful actions and improved their tactical position along the front line. Strikes were delivered at manpower and hardware of the 10th Mountain Assault, 79th, 92nd Air Assault, 46th, 81st Airmobile, 22nd, 23rd, 28th, 41st, 93rd Mechanized Brigades of the Armed Forces of Ukraine, Armed Forces of Ukraine, close to Belogorovka, Lugansk People's Republic, Spornoi, Minkovka, Kleshchevka, Shesavyar, Andreevka, and Ostroy, Donetsk People's Republic. Three counterattacks launched by the Armed Forces of Ukraine 33rd Mechanized, 80th Air Assault Brigades were repelled close to Bogdanovka and Pobeda, Donetsk People's Republic. The Armed Forces of Ukraine losses amounted to up to 410 Ukrainian troops, 9 motor vehicles, and one 122mm Gvozdika self-propelled artillery system. One enclave electronic warfare station and one ammunition depot were also eliminated. The Zapad Group of Forces units captured more advantageous lines and inflicted losses on the 21st Mechanized and 95th Air Assault Brigades of the Armed Forces of Ukraine near Terny, Donetsk People's Republic. For counterattacks launched by the 12th Special Forces Brigade, Azov Asterisk, have been repelled near Grigorovka, Donetsk People's Republic. The Armed Forces of Ukraine losses included up to 25 Ukrainian troops, two pickup trucks, and one 122mm Gvozdika self-propelled artillery system. The Center Group of Forces units improved the tactical situation and repelled nine counterattacks launched by the assault groups of the 25th Air Assault, 68th, 71st Jaeger, 59th Motorized Infantry, 24th, 47th, 100th and 115th mechanized brigades of the armed forces of Ukraine close to Pervomeskoy, Semyonovka, Netelovo, and Berdikai, Donetsk People's Republic. The armed forces of Ukraine losses amounted to up to 365 Ukrainian troops, one German-made martyr infantry fighting vehicle, 12 motor vehicles, one 122mm D-30 howitzer, as well as three electronic warfare stations, Noda and Buko D. The Vostok Group of Forces units captured more advantageous lines and inflicted losses on the units of the 58th Motorized Infantry, 72nd Mechanized Brigades of the Armed Forces of Ukraine, 102nd and 128th Territorial Defense Brigades near Staromayorskoy, Ugladar, Eurozenoy, Donetsk People's Republic, and Chervanoy, Zaporozhye region. The armed forces of Ukraine losses amounted to up to 95 Ukrainian troops, two motor vehicles, and one UK-made 155mm FH-70 howitzer. The units of the Dnieper Group of Forces have inflicted fire damage on manpower and hardware of the armed forces of Ukraine 141st Infantry, 65th Mechanized, and 128th Mountain Assault Brigades near Rabatino, Novoandrievka, and Stepovoy, Zaporozhye region. The armed forces of Ukraine losses amounted to up to 45 Ukrainian troops and two pickup trucks. Operational tactical aviation, missile troops, and artillery of the Russian groups of forces have engaged one air defense positioning area, one storage point for uncrewed surface vehicles, manpower, and hardware of the armed forces of Ukraine in 142 areas. Air defense systems shot down 240 Ukrainian unmanned aerial vehicles during the day. In total, 592 airplanes, 270 helicopters, 22,529 unmanned aerial vehicles, 508 air-to-air -air missile systems, 
15,817 tanks and other armored fighting vehicles, 1,269 MLRS combat vehicles, 9,040 field artillery guns and mortars, and 21,232 special military vehicles have been neutralized since the beginning of the special military operation. Thank you so much for watching this video. We hope you found it useful and informative. If you have any questions, please leave them below and we'll get back to you as soon as possible.